tiny ground squirrels. There are 25 recognized species of chipmunks in the world, and all of them, with the exception of one, are found in North America. The Siberian chipmunk can be found throughout Russia, Siberia, Japan, and China, while the rest live from central Canada to central Mexico, and basically anywhere in between. They typically inhabit any environment with trees, and usually live on the ground in nests and burrows. Despite this, they're not technically ground squirrels, as those are a different classification, and chipmunks are actually fairly adept climbers, with some even making nests in trees. They're the smallest rodents from the squirrel family, with the largest ones reaching less than a foot in length. Typically, chipmunks are easily recognizable from other squirrels for their red to tawny fur color with alternating dark and light stripes along their faces and sides. They've also often been featured as the mammals with massive cheeks, probably for good reason too. As opposed to putting on fat to make it through the winter, chipmunks will actually store food and munch on it during colder months and throughout their hibernation period. In order to collect food, they will stuff their cheeks full of morsels to be consumed at a later date. They are able to pack their cheeks up to three times the size of their head. That's a lot of nuts! And fruits, berries, fungi, insects, eggs, baby birds, and possibly dead flesh? Ugh. Maybe not quite so cute now. Nah, still cute as heck. Depending on where they live, they will have one or two litters of pups per year, once in the spring and then again in the fall if they have a second litter. The females gestate or remain pregnant for about 30 days, and although they will fiercely protect their babies for the first two months of life, after that, they're on their own. And this is because chipmunks are relatively solitary creatures who only really come together for mating seasons. They live for about two or three years in the wild, though there have been cases of them living roughly nearly a decade in captivity. Chipmunks feed a variety of predators, such as hawks, foxes, snakes, weasels, and coyotes. They're important to the ecosystems in which they live. Some help aid in dispersing spores for certain species of truffles. Chipmunks have co-evolved with these truffles so that the truffles have lost their ability to disperse their spores via the air. Instead, they depend on chipmunks as well as other animals to live a full life cycle. Chipmunks also disperse seeds and nuts throughout their environment to help keep their home alive. Man, talk about the web of life! Only two species of chipmunk are classified as vulnerable or endangered in the wild, and these are the Bowler's chipmunk and the Palmer's chipmunk, respectively. They're threatened by habitat fragmentation as well as human invasion on their homes, including domestic and feral cat predation they otherwise wouldn't experience. Recently, chipmunks have featured in blockbuster movies, and they've also starred in the original television show that began in the early 1980s. Symbolically, they represent trust, as they can be very trusting of humans. If one is seen, they can also represent the need to begin saving money, as they are collectors of resources. They're considered a nuisance by some, as they can destroy gardens and bird feeders, but are beloved by others for their adorable appearance and whimsical attitude. What do you think when you see a chipmunk? For more facts on chipmunks, look through the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up. 